tell us about the unique model you have here with Azura uh, as far as ownership, uh, but then also being a hotel. It's, it's different than fractionals and timeshares. At this price point, which is, is, is moderate, particularly for, uh, for non-Bermudians buying into resort property in Bermuda, our price band is basically a million to two million dollars for waterfront whole ownership homes. Uh, this gives people the opportunity to buy a one, two, three, or four bedroom residence and then put the bedrooms that they're not using or the entire unit, if they're not using it, into the hotel rental pool. And as we've walked around, Diane, and looked at, you'll see a three bedroom villa here has three separate entry doors so that you can create a lock off key for different bedrooms. And then an owner, in order to have uh, the concessions or the, the incentives from government, that are provided for what are called hotel residences, this type of condominium or condo hotel product, they have to put at least one bedroom in for at least six months of the year. And then they can use the rest of it anytime they want. They can change it from year to year. Even those six weeks uh, don't have to be consecutive. They put in whichever they want. Our interest was to have every unit participate in the hotel program so they would have sufficient inventory to have a real hotel for Bermuda. In fact, our first two phases now are over 90% sold out. Every single purchaser is participating in the hotel program. And not only are some owners putting their full unit into the hotel program, but we've had two owners who've bought multiple units, one for their own use and other units 100% of the time to go into the hotel program because they believe in the Azura Hotel and the underlying economic model and, and they think it's gonna be a successful cash flow. We have a number of guests staying here right now. Um, and then we have a, a, a phase over here on the cliff top, which is called Edgewater, which is another eight units, uh, which is about 20 additional potential hotel keys. It's under construction, proceeding on schedule, is fully sold out. So as we go into the summer season next year, God willing, get a lot of the COVID uncertainty behind us and the airlift and the demand base increases, we'll have 50 potential hotel keys. And we're just about to start construction on our final phase, which will provide another 15 to 20 keys. So you're open for business. We are welcoming guests from overseas. We're welcoming guests from Bermuda. We've had a lot of staycation demand. You and I were just in, in one of our three bedroom waterfront villas. We have somebody just landing in a private jet. Uh, so they're coming in privately. Obviously, they're a high ticket uh, client. We have a number of our hotel residence owners who've come in recently from New York, from Miami, from London. And I got to tell you, not only because of the beautiful views, they are very happy to be in Bermuda. What are your feelings regarding tourism? My macro feeling about tourism is extremely optimistic, extremely proud about Bermuda, a big belief in Bermuda. We, we risk capital on this. We're looking at other projects right now to further investment in Bermuda. I think Bermuda is a unique and very special place. Bermuda is a unique asset. There's going to be demand for it. We are going through and we're going to continue going through some serious pain for uh, a period of time. And I think we will recover better than others. And I think when, when things get back to a bit more normal uh, in terms of, of people's confidence in travel and willingness to travel and additional airlift, well, I think we're going to benefit from how well our people and our government have handled the coronavirus here and what a good, safe, first world infrastructure we have.